Hello and welcome to another episode of Marty's Matchbox Makeovers. Now as you can see I'm out in my shed today because this episode is somewhat different to some of the others. It's going to be a new out of the box episode where I unbox something that has been sent to me that is rather unusual or odd. So about six weeks ago I was contacted by a representative from the Sterling Kit Company and to be perfectly honest I'd never heard of them and didn't know what they did. They asked if I would be interested in reviewing one of their products. So what are their products? Well, what they do is they manufacture small model engines and uh, you, the home hobbyists, such as myself, can assemble them and they, can, they actually run as well. So yesterday, this package arrived and it's from the Sterling Kit Company and it includes one of their models. So uh, hopefully today, after I've unboxed it and assembled it, it will run. So right off the bat, I can sense that this is going to be a quality product due to the high standard of the packaging. First up, here's a picture of the model that they have sent me. It's a freestanding steam engine kit. I've counted the parts from the pictures in the plan and there are 93 individual bits that you have to assemble. As you can see though, some of these pieces are actually assemblies of multiple other parts. So the actual total number of parts is probably closer to 200, I'm guessing. Included in the kit is this handy little multi-tool and some tweezers. This flywheel is absolutely gorgeous and has a beautiful quality feel to it. It resembles the flywheel that I had on my Mamod steam engine when I was a young boy. Here is one of those pre-assembled parts that I was talking about. This rather elaborate piece is called the governor. It controls the speed of the machine by these centrifugal steel balls. These tiny grub screws in this bag are the sort of thing that I'm likely to lose. So I'm going to keep a close eye on them. Now 
Okay then, it's time to start putting this thing together. Hopefully the instructions should be easy to follow. This little Allen key is one of three that was supplied with the multi-tool. This bit was a little bit fiddly. A third hand would have come in handy. So far, so good. I'm so keen to get this model finished today that I actually missed these two bearing blocks. So I'm now gonna to have to pull it apart to fit them.
this one bolt took me quite a while to fit. Reason being, I didn't understand at the time that it was a left hand thread and had to be turned anti-clockwise to fit it. A couple of the pipe connections are simply heat resistant silicon tubing like this piece. The spinning governor is driven by this silicon drive belt that is attached to a pulley on the flywheel. There are four of these stainless panels that make up a little square box that would have to be called the firebox as it's where the burner sits underneath the boiler. And next comes the largest pre-assembled piece, the boiler. Comes with a safety valve, a whistle and a steam valve. And note it also has a glass panel on the front so you can see the water level in the boiler. The heat source for this machine comes from methylated spirits or something similar poured into this little heat tray here that slides in underneath the boiler. I notice that it has to be tilted slightly to get it in this rear aperture. The manufacturer recommends that you use the mineralized water and um, anything with an alcohol content of 95% or more, or minimum alcohol content of 95%. But all I've got here is some clean mineral water and some methylated spirits. So that's what I'm going to be using today. I do not recommend that you use kerosene. And remember, where fire and flammable liquids are concerned, always have a fire extinguisher on standby.
we've got pressure. online and somebody recommended running these machines for 15 minutes using air pressure to wear them in and make them run better. So I thought I'd try that. Okay, well, this is as good as it gets. I uh, still need to fine tune it, I think. But so far, I've got it to do this. So it won't run continuously at the moment. Like I say, there must be some adjustment that I need to make. But overall, it's a good fun project. It's quite easy to make. And I would highly recommend, if you're into this kind of thing, that you have a look at the website and maybe purchase yourself one because they're great fun so until next time this is marty from marty's matchbox and makeovers saying goodbye and thanks for watching